All right, so here's my end of July quick little recap for y'all. So um, things are starting to get better, no doubt. Um, I just set a record for my best month, and I made after borrowing fees a little over 580 bucks. Um, I managed to make it through with only four red days, but as you can see, when I look at the gross income, that changes to two red days. And um, I actually made over a grand before commissions, so it's really a shame that I have to fork up so much of my daily profits to commissions. But as a beginner trader, trading with small size, um, unfortunately, this is hard to avoid. So for me to reduce them, I have to scale in and out less, and that's not necessarily something that I'm comfortable with doing as it forces me to make my trading too rigid. Nonetheless, uh, what this tells me is that I'm on the right track, and once I'm able to size up, commissions won't eat at such a large percentage of my income. So in terms of emotional days where I just didn't give a fuck and started blindly entering positions, I only had one of those days and I managed to keep it reasonably under control, so under 500. Uh, compared to May and June where I was having four figure losing days, this is a big improvement. Also, before this, my previous best month was March and I netted just $15. So to go from 15 bucks to over 500 is an increase of over 3,800%. So I really can't complain. Uh, this month, I was not trying to make back the losses I incurred in June, which totaled nearly $4,000. Rather, I was just trying to end the month green and beat my previous best. My mindset was more focused on preserving the profits I was making rather than shooting for stars on any given trade or feeling like I had to dig myself out of a hole. It allowed me to be satisfied with days where I only made 20 to 30 bucks, knowing the opportunities would always be present. So I pretty much had tunnel vision all through July. My top three trades on a month were a first red day and two dip dies. So I actually ended the month with my best trade, the first red day. Um, I was actually notified that from a trader, Kyle, in the chat. And that one worked out beautifully. And then I had two dip buys, so I've really been going crazy in the dip buys this month and just um, honing in on those plays. So my bottom three trades also happen to be dip buys, but I'm okay with this because overall in the month, I am net profitable on my dip buys, which means I'm doing something right. And when I look at the mistakes I made with those dip buys, I'm still learning how to perfect them. So I know it's a strategy that I could improve going forward and not something that I necessarily need to let go right now. So at this point, going into August, I think I feel confident with sizing up. I've also started to implement the Fibonacci retracements into my trading. Still watching a lot of um, webinars, uh, Tim Sykes webinars, um, Mark Crook videos, and just uh, trying to stay on top of things, trying to keep my emotions in check. And uh, hopefully August brings even more rewards. I'm not gonna shoot for stars, but at the same time, I'm going to try to be more confident and be more open to plays that I may have been hesitant to take uh, in July when I was trying to preserve my profits. And my really, my bigger, my biggest goal, I guess, is to not necessarily play my PNL, but to just play the chart and then not look at the PNL until the end of the day. So I was I was able to do that a few times, I think towards the beginning of July. But at a certain point, I kind of had to look at the PNL just to make sure I was able to finish the month green. But uh, that's it. Really brief recap. Um, let me know in the comments how your trading is going. Be back soon. To the limit and we ain't gonna touch the brakes. Running out of gas and my life is on the stake. I can't feel my face. I can feel the vibe. I can feel the hate.